the Rally of the Tall Pines. The final round of the 2010 Canadian Rally Championship saw the teams gather in Bancroft, Ontario on some of the most punishing roads in the series. For Subaru, it was their chance to win their 10th Manufacturer's Championship. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a great battle all year, but it comes down to the last event of the season. It's the end of the year. We can just go flat out and have fun. And everybody wants to get on the podium, so it should be a good fight. Added to Subaru Rally Team Canada's arsenal was 2003 World Rally Champion Martin Rowe. A couple of weeks ago, he rang me up and said, did I want to do a rally? And I was like, whoa, we're here to support Subaru and get the manufacturer's title. With the extra firepower, Richard and Rowe would face off against the Subaru Privateer Team's Swap Shop and Can Jam Motorsports for the honor of taking Subaru's flag to the championship. Out of the gates, Crazy Leo Erlichich stunned the factory team by matching the stage time of defending champion Patrick Richard. But the up-and-comer would make a serious mistake on stage two, ending his rally. On the second stage, I turned in too early for a corner and I had to turn out to avoid a rock. We just hit the massive shield on the, like a rock on the outside of the corner. Unfortunately, that was it. And before long, bad luck would strike Richard as well. Overall, uh, entered the last stage and we landed a big jump, but the right front wheel just exploded. So uh, we lost steering and uh, we lost the brakes as well because it ripped the caliper off. The damage to Richard's car cost him minutes worth of penalties, forcing the Grandmaster to dice with Bruno Carré and Craig Henderson for position as the leader in the race to earn Subaru their 10th title. Meanwhile, Hugo de Grenier was battling fellow young gun Steve Hobbs for the novice championship. Hugo managing to keep his WRX ahead of Hobbs STI to earn the top rookie title. Back in the lead of the race to the Manufacturer's Championship, bad luck struck Richard one more time, costing him top honors and his fifth championship. This left Craig Henderson to finish off a proud season for Team Swap Shop by bringing home the Manufacturer's Championship for Subaru. What, what a hard day it was. a. Uh... Probably the hardest day I had since my first my first started rallying. Not used to defeat, four-time Canadian rally champion Patrick Richard still had a great season. Yeah, it was, it was unfortunate. I mean, uh, the car steered straight left right into the big boulder, and uh, we couldn't continue after that. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to finish the event, but uh, Subaru still won the Manufacturer's Championship. The Rocket Rally guys did a great job keeping the car together all season. They worked really hard, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better crew. And Subaru Canada has been fantastic with the support. Rallying is the world's toughest form of motorsports, and for a tenth season, Subaru has proved that they will always be up to the challenge. Look for Subaru Rally Team Canada to make their mark on the 2011 Canadian Rally Championship starting on February 5th at Rally Persneige.